Hi everyone, Zen Within Me here. I'm so excited to share my oracle cards with you. I finally got them in. Okay, so I told you I was going to do a showcase video, so here we have it. All right, initials, traits, and features oracle cards by Zen Within Me. All right, so let's start off first with some of the letters. These cards give you initials of people or letters to describe a person, place, or thing that connects you to your person or situation. They can also give you timing, such as days of the week, month, or numbers, okay, as you've seen me use them in my readings. Traits and features are self-explanatory. These oracle cards are not just for love, but for anything in your life where you will need specific details about a person or situation. Purchase info is down below in the description box. Check out my YouTube channel, Zen Within Me, for free weekly readings. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, peace and love, guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel, Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. But before I get into it, I just want to make a quick announcement and let you guys know I'm doing an October 2020 giveaway. I'm so excited to do this for you guys. Um, now all you have to do to participate is make a $5 donation to the channel. I have that link down below. It's my paypal.me and you will have an opportunity if you're one of the winners to win one of three prizes. It's your choice. Okay. So you can win a $50 store gift card to Kohl's, Amazon, Target, um, Walmart, anything like that, or a $50 soulmate reading from me or a $70 three question love reading from me. Okay. So. Without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. <sighs> Guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Libra, sun, moon, rising, regarding their love life. Okay, what messages do we have for Libra regarding their love life? What does Libra need to know at this time? What love messages do we have for Libra? Thank you so much. Let's see, what do we have so far here? Ooh, Libra, we got the Two of Cups, lovely. True love, unions, you have this bonds, connection. I love it. Two of Wands, we have two twos here. All right, so the Two of Wands, this is moving towards your goals, knowing what you want, having this partnership, getting this true love here that you want. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. You're gonna get this true love coming in Definitely. I love this for you guys. Okay. So let's see. What other messages do we have for Libra? Going towards your true love. Having that union. That that strong bonds and connection. Can you give us some more details, please, about this strong bonds and this connection of true love for Libra? I'm hearing it's going to be like a very tight partnership. Okay, the Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. So this is definitely for some of you that want new love coming into your life, you're going to have new love. And for those of you that were looking to rekindle with something with someone, that's a possibility as well. Okay, let's see any other messages for Libra. Ooh. I like this, guys. We have engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. You got the one coming in, and you guys are going to be inseparable. Okay, hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Now, for those of you that have this old flame coming back in, where we said about rekindling a relationship, I feel this is rebuilding coming in here. You guys are deciding to work on it. So, fantastic. I love this. Let me put this here, and I'm going to put that there. Beautiful. All right, so now let's see who is coming into your life, Libra, whether it's old or new. Let's get some details. Okay, who is coming into Libra's life? I'm using my Oracle deck here, so now you guys can see them in action since you saw the commercial in the beginning. Okay, so let's see. Who is coming towards Libra? Who is going to be Libra's true love that's coming in? Can you please give us as many de details as possible for, for Libra? Give us as many details as possible for Libra's person that's coming in. Okay. 
Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages for Libra? All right, thank you. We got plenty here. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to take this one because this one flips first. So your person may be sexy, tall. Let me actually separate the letters from the traits and features. Okay. All right, so we have affectionate. Something about their mouth, so you might might like um, like their lips, their the things that they say. They may talk sexy, lick their lips like LL Cool J. Something about their mouth here that you like. It could just be the shape of their mouth. If it's a woman, like the lipstick that they use. Oh, this person is wealthy. Love it. Okay, they have piercings. Now, it's a general reading, so that doesn't mean your person has to have every single trait, okay? And something about their ears. So they may have piercings on their ears, which is a common thing, you know. Okay, now let's see for the letters. We have the letters M, C, F, B, I'm getting Facebook here. Somebody, um, you might be friends on Facebook or they might check up on your Facebook or this might be somebody you even met off of Facebook. Okay, like I said, an X for some of you. This is definitely an X coming back in. And the letter V. I'm getting that this may be um, somebody that is a Virgo or somebody that's from like uh, Virginia or the Virgin Islands. I'm also getting vertigo for some reason. So whoever that may resonate with. Okay, so M, C, F, B, X, V. All right. So let's see if we can get some timing here for you guys. Okay, so when are you going to meet this person? When is this person going to come into your life, Libra? When is this person going to come into Libra's life? When is this person going to come into Libra's life, please and thank you? We'll also see about their signs, possible signs. Try not to focus on the signs when it's a general reading. I do that more in the private readings. Okay, last shuffle. When is this person going to be coming into Libra's life? Okay. All right, so we have here, look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. All right, so look up full moon in Sagittarius 2020 and 2021. You may also be dealing with a Sagittarius. It could also be in the time of Sagittarius or just when the next full moon phase is, okay? But look at the bigger picture. And I feel that's going to be for those of you that have this X coming back in. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. So for some of you, this person is wealthy. So you have this prosperity that's going to be coming ahead. New moon in Taurus. So this may be a Taurus or just the new moon phase. Or like I said, look for new moon in Taurus. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Same messages apply. And the last one here is nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Okay. So in other words, if you don't want to talk to this person that comes in, you know, like you don't have to. Nothing is set in stone. You know, this is, there's always free will. So things can always change. But as of now, this is what I am foreseeing for you guys, okay? All right. So let's see if we can get some signs here for who this person is. Who is Libra's person that's coming in? Now, if the sign doesn't come up, it's okay. You just look more for the initials and the traits. Okay. Okay, who is coming towards Libra? Who's going to be Libra's true love that's coming in? 
Oop, I got a sign. Last shuffle. Any other signs that want to come through for Libra? No. Okay, so I got one sign here. Let's see, which one is this? Scorpio. This energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive, so be careful. So I feel this new person coming in, you're going to have this intense connection where this person is going to be very charming, very thoughtful. Um, they may be secretive and possessive, so be careful, but that secretive and possessive, I feel, may have been a trait that you had from your ex, which was why, you know, things didn't really work out, but... They may be coming in like, no, I learned my lesson. I'm not going to do that. I'll tell you everything and, and I'm not going to try and control you. Okay. And then we have the 12th house, this area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield to a greater cause or power. So you're going to be overwhelmed with this new love that's coming in with this energy because it's going to be, like I said, so intense and you guys are going to be inseparable here. You're really going to have this strong connection that it's going to be a little overwhelming at first to you because you're not used to it. And if it's with an ex, it's unexpected, you know? Okay. All right. But it doesn't have to just be a Scorpio. It could just be that energy. Okay. All right. So those are your messages. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Check my affiliates down below. Um, all the info is there for the deck, the Oracle deck. And if you'd like to participate in the giveaway, peace and love. Have a good night.